Governor Gretchen Whitmer of Michigan recently caused a stir among Christians when she posted a sacred image online. Well, not really sacred. It was a votive candle with an icon of Democratic operative Stacey Abrams on it, designed to portray her as a saint or a goddess. But a goddess of what religion? See, funny enough, that same morning, Pope Francis warned in a homily that if we do not worship God, we worship idols. That may be true, but idol worship isn't irreligious. In fact, it can be very religious, just from a Christian perspective, wrong religion. And that's why Gretchen Whitmer's tweet caused such a stir among Christians. It raised the question, is the secular left, which is often seen as anti-religious, actually becoming a religion itself? When Democrats introduced articles of impeachment against President Trump, they solemnly processed through the halls of Congress. The symbolism wasn't lost on MSNBC's Chris Matthews, who was raised Catholic. There's a sacramental quality to this, he said, a ritual. So the political left certainly has rituals like a religion, but does it have dogmas like one? Punishments for heresies? Anathemas? Turns out, yes, and more now than ever. How about banned books? For just one of many examples, Simon & Schuster just abruptly canceled the publication of Senator Josh Hawley's book because of his support for President Trump. And even some words have become unacceptable to Democrats. This year, new House rules ban so-called gendered words such as father and mother from the lexicon of the U.S. Congress. Democrat-backed movements even have their own chanted prayers of a sort. Abortion is health care can be heard repeated again and again at pro-abortion marches, a dark mantra that almost seems designed to conjure a fact into existence. And Don Lemon of CNN spoke of the Trump administration's sins, which incidentally he judged could not be absolved. This in no way absolves them of the sin uh, and the sins that they and the president have committed against this country. Yes, you could argue it's a religion, all right, just not the true religion. And for all its dogmatic rigidity and strange sacraments, perhaps what makes it most different from true religion? For those who offend its gods, there is no sacrament of reconciliation. This has been an episode of CVTV. Subscribe to CVTV on YouTube, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and sign up at catholicvote.org loop.